Last one goes to the issue of Pakistan. Yes. Pakistan released Mullah Berader, a very revered leader of the Taliban. He has now been announced that he will join, in some sense, be your counterpart in the Doha discussions. Where do you think Pakistan is on this peace process issue? And indeed, I would say to you even, where are some of the countries in the region more generally? Yeah. Uh, is Pakistan going to be <clears throat> a help here? And are there others that you think that have indicated so far that they're, they're prepared to support you in this effort? Right. Well, um, this is a sensitive question. I, I, I believe uh, uh, Pakistan uh, has historically uh, uh, not played a positive role with regard to peace process, but I believe there is a, a positive change uh, in recent times. Uh, the release of Mullah Brother, which was my request, uh, they accommodated that uh, because Mullah Brother had the uh, reputation of being more, uh, more pro-peace. Uh, um, uh, President Karzai during his administration and President Ghani during his period had mentioned that uh, uh, Brother uh, would be uh, the, uh, a force for, for peace. And uh, Pakistan has tried to, uh, to uh, facilitate uh, talks between the Taliban and uh, the United States and also favors uh, 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 inter-Afghan dialogue, including between the Taliban and the government. That's the, uh, that, and I think that's positive. Uh, we always would like uh, Pakistan, like other countries, to do more. Uh, but uh, we appreciate what they have done so far. And I have indicated, uh, and Secretary Pompeo and uh, the President, that uh, you know, we want to have good relations with Pakistan, better relations with Pakistan, and that uh, sh uh, uh, what they do on Afghanistan to facilitate peace and reconciliation, which has been a burden on the relationship uh, that will be removed. And you know, Pakistan is an important country with which we want to have better relations.